the first years of this decade, I lighted that our world is becoming more uncertain and unpredictable. The COVID-19 pandemic, the humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan, Venezuela, and Yemen, the war in Ukraine, and the drought in the East and Horn of Africa, as well as multiple emerging mobility challenges all over the world, they all point to a devastating trend. Humanitarian crises, including forced displacement, are growing in scale, in complexity and severity, made more acute by rising food prices and commodity prices. Millions this year risk becoming food insecure with little end in sight. At this moment, it is critical that uh, we review and update the delivery of humanitarian aid to meet the needs of those most vulnerable more effectively. On this World Humanitarian Day, I would like to commend the role of local communities, authorities and organizations, the role they play in the response to humanitarian crisis. In fact, COVID-19 has brought first responders such as local and migrant communities to the very far front of emergency and recovery efforts. This has pushed IOM to find new ways to empower and engage local communities. But we must do more, and we must do better. Impactful and lasting humanitarian cooperation demands the full inclusion of civil society and local actors, particularly minorities and marginalized groups. We are committed to listening to the people we serve. Only through this approach can we ensure that solutions are empowering, appropriate and achievable. Everyone can and must be an actor of change, and especially now. The last two and a half years have taught us that uh, by involving all local and regional stakeholders, we can tackle humanitarian crisis in a more effective way than ever before. World Humanitarian Day reminds us of the need to celebrate all the local actors and migrant communities. It takes a village to fight for global peace and human rights.